Okay, and we also want to do that with the remove person, our last piece of functionality. And again, if you want to set it up yourself, set up a dispatch and then handle that action in the reducer. A tiny hint, as far as ID, you want to pass it as an extra property in the object, the one that you're passing into a dispatch. So let's get cracking. I'm going to navigate to use reducer. I'm looking for a remove item. And in here we want to go with dispatch. We want to invoke it. We want to pass in the type. And in this case, I'm looking for a remove item, comma. And you can definitely pass here the ID, like so. You can go with ID equals to any. Because keep in mind that if you don't pass the ID, how are you going to know which item you want to remove? I mean, remove item, okay, but which one? So you can set up the condition, you can even return a state, but it's not going to make sense if you don't have access to that specific ID. And you can pass it like so, ID equals to an ID. However, the convention is to call this property a payload, set it equal to an object, even though you're passing in one property, yep, set it up as an object, and then pass the ID, the name, whatever. So let me just showcase the convention. We go with payload, that's our second property, it is an object, yep, and then in here we go with ID, and then equals to an ID. So now let's navigate up, and in the reducer right after reset list, I want to come up with another condition, I'll say if action type. And in this case, I'm looking for remove item. If that is the case, what do I want to do? Well, first, let's just start by returning a state. And I want to showcase where we have that ID right now. So I'm going to go log and then I'm just going to look for action. Let me save. And then you can click on any of them and check it out. You'll see here remove item. And then you'll see the payload. So in order to grab that ID, what do we need to do? Well, first of all, my spelling and notice this is even with the extension. So just imagine how well air quotes I'm doing without it. So this is a payload, my bad. And let me save it again. Basically, we want to go with payload and then dot and then the ID. That's what we have to do. So type is remove item and then the payload over here. So now let's navigate to that condition. And the setup is going to be pretty much the same. I'm going to go with people filter, right? So of course, I'll have to access it using state, I'm going to get back the new people. And in here, instead of ID, I'll say action payload and ID. And of course, I can destructure it. So let me take this one up. There's no need to set it from the scratch. Again, the difference right now is that people is in the state. So we go here with state dot people. And the second thing, this ID is located in the action dot payload dot and then the ID. And like I just said before, of course, you can destructure it above, you can look for ID, which is located in the action payload. And as far as what we're returning, well, instead of state, we're going to go with dot 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 state. So we return all of the properties. And then let's set people equal to our new array, which is going to be new people. And that's it. That's all we have to do. Now again, let me clear we have a bunch of things in here. It doesn't look like I have any more logs. Pretty sure I can remove this one. And our functionality should work. Check it out. I have the list, I can clear it, I can reset, and I can move them one by one. We get to an empty array and we set it back to, I believe, four items.